new tonight. The Target 12 investigators have learned Rhode Island Governor Gina Raimondo is a top contender for a job in President-elect Joe Biden's cabinet. And we confirmed Raimondo is being seriously vetted to become the Secretary of Health and Human Services for the Biden administration. 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nisi was the first local reporter to confirm the news. He joins us now live in studio with the details. Ted. Well, Mike Shannon, multiple people close to the governor tell me it's still very possible Biden will pick someone else for this job, but they're confident now that Raimondo is one of the finalists. Ever since Joe Biden won the presidency, Governor Gina Raimondo has been peppered with questions about whether she might join his cabinet. Here's what she told 12 News just after the election. I am here and I plan to stay here. So if you're offered Treasury Secretary, you would turn it down? I say, listen, I am here, I plan to be governor. But now the chatter is really heating up. Multiple advisors and others close to the governor tell Target 12, Raimondo appears to be a serious contender for the job of Health and Human Services Secretary. NBC News reporting Wednesday that the two finalists are Raimondo and former Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Morthy. We will take steps that will change the course of this disease. Biden has made clear fighting the coronavirus will be his top priority when he takes office and his pick for health secretary will play a key role, managing distribution of the vaccine and working with governors around the country. The secretary also oversees Medicare and Medicaid. The Biden team has reportedly been high on Raimondo ever since she left a positive impression when they interviewed her for vice president earlier this year. Supporters argue she'd be well suited to managing state and federal cooperation on the pandemic after seeing the challenges up close as a governor herself. And again, it's still entirely possible Biden will choose someone else for health secretary, leaving Raimondo in Rhode Island to finish out her term, which ends in 2022. But if she did take the job in Washington, Democratic Lieutenant Governor Dan McKee would take over as governor for the next two years. Live in studio, Ted Nisi, 12 News.